Let me recommend you some boons for rookie and junior tournaments in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wider Live Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 if you like this video. So I don't talk about recommendations of boons for challenger tournaments in this video because most stuff players choosing to play at challenger level already know pretty well how to make their lineups for the styles they want to play with during the qualifying round and the, during the tournament round so they generally have a lot of experience have played a lot of tournaments at rookie and junior before going to challenger level so it's useless to say that they don't need any build recommendation that means that we focus on lineups for the rookie and junior tournaments because most of players taking part to those two levels of tournament generally don't have too much experience, especially in the rookie tournament. Three, so a lot of subs asked me to do this uh, video lately. So here it is. Feel free to comment on the cards I recommend or to ask me why I choose this or that card in the comments section of this video. Please pay attention to the title which is written on the top of the screen at all time so as to avoid confusion between the different builds for different styles in this video. Feel free to tap or click on pause whenever you need it. So let's make it short. For me, there is no best build that works for all players in a rookie or junior tournament. It doesn't exist because the best lineup is in my opinion the one that suits your favorite play style. A lot of players from low tours and mid tours, from two one to tour six, like to play with the high serve big forehand or with the high serve two balance hand style. And because they have practiced a lot with this style, well, it would be a good idea to keep playing with a high serve style in rookie or junior tournaments, using Jonah or Leo, or of course Victoria if you have her. Whoever you have at level five or level seven, depending on the level of tournament you choose. So here is the lineup that I recommend for the high serve big forehand style in rookie and junior tournaments. If you have cards up to a 5 or to 6 max, you have noticed that I don't recommend any to a 6 card in this build. Indeed, even if you have the hammer or the forge, if you choose to play with the high serve big forehand style, where you should choose the panther and the cobra, those two cards will give you a stronger forehand and you have chosen to play with a weak backhand anyway so the forge is not useful here. If you don't have the shuriken at level 5 then use the hunter instead. Use Leo or Victoria if you have them at level 5 otherwise you can use Jonah who is an early game character but who is still usable at rookie or junior levels of tournament. So I'm going to show you the stats that you can get with Jonah, Leo and Victoria using this build you are going to be able to compare the slight differences of stats between the three characters using the same build each time and it will be like that for the next recommended builds too so you're seeing now at uh, junior tournament 11-7 of capping And here is the build that I recommend for the high serve big forehand style in rookie and junior tournaments if you have cards of tour 7 max. If you want to have more stamina points, well, you can use endurance instead of sprint, but your serve will be weaker. Or you can use increased hydration instead of carbo load, but your forehand will be weaker. Same thing, I'm showing the stats that you have with this build for different characters. Jonah, Leo and Victoria. First in a level 5 capping condition, that means in the rookie tournament and then at level 7 of capping, which is the level at the junior tournament. And here is the lineup that I recommend for the high serve two balance hands style in rookie and junior tournaments. If you have cards of 2 or 5 max, Patriot, Talon, Shuriken, Chole Rocha, Increase Hydration and Plyometrics. Same thing, the stats uh, when this build is uh, used in a level 5 capping setup with 3 different characters. And then at level 7, 
you can note the difference of stats between the three characters. And we are going to see the lineup that I recommend for the high serve two balance hand style in rookie and junior tournaments if you have cards of two or six max. So this time they are the hammer and the forge, which are the uh, two main different cards compared to the previous build. Here we go for the stats at level 5 first and then at level 7 with this build using the hammer in the forge. Here is the lineup that I recommend for the high serve two balance hand style in rookie and junior tournaments if you have cards of two or seven max. This time there's the cabo load and resistance band. Besides hammer and the forge. So you are going to see some better stats of course for the forehand and the backhand using those uh, cover load and resistance band cards so those two high serve styles are good to play against another player using the high serve style obviously because then both players lack agility and if you can hit fast and hard enough serves you already have a good chance to hold your serves and get a fair number of points if you start serving and that you can hold your serve, meaning that you don't let the opponent break you when you serve, then you can score quite easily at least six points using a high serve style against another high serve player. But those two high serve style can also work well versus another player using the counter puncher style using Kaito or Florence most of the time because your opponent will serve slowly. You can hit a strong forehand on return, and if you hit it accurately, you can start outflanking your opponent, keeping the initiative, and then follow up with strong forehand strokes all the time to keep outflanking him until you can definitely win the point at the end. So it can work decently versus the uh, volley style, provided you turn around fast enough to avoid the volley player to serve on your backhand which is weak if you play with the high serve big forehand style. And that's why I generally prefer to play with the high serve two balance hand style because you have a slightly weaker forehand. But you don't need to worry all the time about your opponent hitting on your backhand. In all cases, you should stay alert if your opponent likes to hit drop volleys. Because in that case, you should stay more often in the backcourt, being ready to rush to the net to catch those drop volleys. But well, I understand that some players don't like the two high serve styles that we have just seen. They prefer to play with the counter puncher or the volley style. In that case, here is the lineup that I recommend for the counter puncher style in rookie and junior tournaments if you have cards of 2 or 5 max. So, I show Florence, but as you are going to see, with the uh, two stats comparison screens, Florence and Kaito have basically the same stats at lower levels. Kaito has only one extra volley point, which is useless when, when you use the counter puncher style. Here is the lineup that I recommend for the counter puncher style in rookie and junior tournaments if you have cards up to a 6 or to a 7 max. Hammer and the Forge, the Feather, and Resistance Band. You are going to see the stats with Florence only because, well, it's uh, basically the same between Florence and Kaito. So I don't show with Kaito. Feather is in Rookie or Junior Tournament. If you like to play with the low serve aggressive baseliner style using Victoria instead of Florence or Kaito, then you just need to take the recommended builds for the counter punch style and replace the Florence or Kaito card by the Victoria card. But be careful, 
the low serve aggressive baseliner style is not working well in tournaments and you need to know that it has mostly <laughs> advantage over the uh, volley seven volley style and that's it it has no advantage over the counter puncher style and if you want to play with two strong hands then you should consider giving to victoria a high serve because uh, she will lack agility and stamina so the high serve will kind of uh, save her you know by allowing her to take some kind of initiative at least by forcing the counter puncher to return a weaker forehand or backhand and then she will keep initiative but otherwise she will lose the initiative very easily so without a B serve, she will have no advantage over Florence or Kaito. Just remember that. If you like to play with the volley style, here are the lineups that I recommend for the server volley style in rookie and junior tournaments. If you have cards of 2 or 5 max, note that you can take the wire because uh, it has no difference with the katana at the lower level. Here are the stats at level 5 capping so in rookie and then at level 7 at junior tournament here's the lineup that i recommend for the serve volley style in rookie and junior tournaments if you have cards of 2 or 6 max so you can use the kodiak now that's the main difference you're going to see the stats i'm showing with leo only but of course you can use Diana too. This is better to uh, to use uh, Leo because uh, he has a better serve and a higher wingspan, so it's better for your matches. Here's the lineup that I recommend for the volley style in rookie and junior tournaments. If you have cards of tour seven max, so the main different cards are the Gladiator and Tactical Grip. Here again, you are going to see. The stats uh, in rookie and junior tournaments. 11 5, 11 7. Well, I hope you enjoy watching my recommended builds for rookie and junior tournaments in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wildlife Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support. And see you soon again, play Twisted is fine. Bye bye. Two.